Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to teach you the basics of Laravel Mail in a short amount of time. This video consists of setting up the email address in Laravel, configuring the sender, creating a simple mail template using views and adding attachments to the mail. So let's get started. Now for the purpose of this video I am using a tool called MailTrap which allows me to test the email infrastructure that I am going to build. So for now let's go create a test email address. We do that by clicking on add inbox and by giving it a name. So for me it's going to be test mail. And then we're going to click on the settings. So right here we can integrate our SMTP settings inside our Laravel application. So here we have the option to choose where we want to integrate it. So I'm going to choose Laravel 9 plus and then I'm going to copy the code that has been generated. Now let's head over to the VS code and right here we need to go inside the env file which is here and here we need to replace this chunk of code with a code that we have copied and once that has been done we need to move on to the next step which is creating a Laravel mailable. So for that we need to go to the terminal and inside here, in order to create a Laravel mailable, we need to type php artisan make mail, followed by the name of the mailable, which for me is going to be my test email. And then hit on enter. Then we will see that the mailable has been created successfully. So let's click on that. And once we have that opened, we'll see different methods. So first we have a constructor and then we have an envelope method and then we have a content and the last one is attachments. So for now we're not going to change anything at all. What we're going to do is we're going to create our first route. So in order to create our first route we're going to import our mailable first. So we're going to say use app slash mail and then our name of the mailable which is my test email and then we'll move on creating the route. As a route endpoint I'm going to add test route followed by a function and inside this function I'm going to use the mail facade to send email somewhere so let's say mail colon colon to and inside the parameters we're going to type the mail where we want to send our email and once we have that we also need to call the send method and inside the parameter, we're going to use the mail instance that we have created. So let's say new my test mail. All right. So now once we have that done, we need to we need to go to the web app, and inside here, let's type the test route. Hit on enter, and as you can see, we are getting an error which says the view name has not been found. Now, if we go back to our mailable and scroll down a bit then you will see here inside the content method we are using the view name now obviously we don't have a blade file called name neither do we have a folder named view so we need to create that inside views I'm going to create a new folder and instead of view I'm going to type mail and then inside the mail I'm going to create a new file and this is going to be name.blade.php Inside the new blade file, we're simply going to type hello world. And then let's go to the mailable. And inside here, we're going to update this to mail.name. Now let's go to the app and refresh the page. As you can see, we are getting nothing. But if we go to the mail trap, then we'll get an email and the mail content will be hello world. Alright, so now if we take a closer look to the from address, then you will see that we have hello at example.com. Now this is something that we haven't configured ourselves, this is something that Laravel uses as a default, but if we would like to change that, we will have to go to the mailable. Let's go up to the envelope method, and inside here we can set up our from address. Now inside here let's type from, followed by the address object. And then inside here, we're going to type our email, which for me is going to be, let's say, jeffrey at gmail.com. Right after the email, we can also type the name as a string. So let's type jeffrey. 
And then what we'll still need to do is we need to add the address facade since we're using it. So let's duplicate this code and replace this with address. All right, so now let's head back to the Laravel app and refresh the page. And now let's go to the mail trap, open the new mail. And then as you can see, now we have the Jeffrey as a sender address. Now often when sending mails on our app, we need to send them dynamically based on user data. To demonstrate to you how that works, I'm going to pass some parameters inside the route. So let's go back to the web.php file. And right after the route endpoint, I'm going to add slash name. And I'm going to add inside the function as well. And then we also need to add name as a parameter inside the object mail. What I'm also going to add is I'm going to dump a message. So let's say email was sent successfully. All right, so now what we are going to need to do is we need to pass the data inside the mailable class constructor. So inside here, let's type private name. And then we're also going to need to pass the name variable inside the content. So here, let's type with. And then I'm going to create a variable called name. And I'm going to set this equal to this name. All right, so for now, I am done here. Now let's go back to the web app. And inside the route, let's pass some dynamic data. So let's say Jarvis and hit on enter. Now we get email is sent successfully. Now if we go to the mail trap and check the new mail, then you will see we are still getting only hello world. I think we need to change the content on the view. So let's go back to the web app. And right here we need to type name inside the double curly bracket. So let's say name. And let's actually remove the world part, save the file. And here, let's refresh the page. And now let's go to the mail trap. As you can see, now we are getting hello Jarvis. So we have been able to pass dynamic data into the email. So now as next, what I want to teach you is how we can send attachments inside the mail. To do that, I'm going to head back to the text editor. And here I want to show you first a JPEG photo that I have uploaded before shooting this video. So let's go to the storage and then inside the app and inside the public. As you can see here, I have a photo, a JPEG photo called doc.jpg. And what I want to do is I want to send this photo as a mail attachment. So to do that, we need to add attachment as a facade at the beginning of this file. So let's say attachment. And then inside the attachments method, we're going to return attachment column column from storage. And inside the parameter, I'm going to type the path where the file is located. And we always start from public. So let's type public slash doc.jpg. So now let's go and send the email again. Go to the mail trap open the new mail and as you can see now we have an attachment so if we open that then you will see the same file that i have showed you before so now what we can also do is we can change the name of the file that is shown here so for example if we go right here and add something like s and inside the parameter we're going to type instead puppy.jpg so save the file and now let's go back to the Laravel app and send the email again. And now let's go to the mail trap and let's open the attachment. As you can see now, the name is different. So we have puppy.jpg instead. So this is for today's video where I hope I have showed you the most important things you need to know about creating a mail system in Laravel. Now, obviously there are a lot of other things that you can do, but that is something that I would like to teach you in other videos. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you found it helpful and subscribe if you want to hear more from me.